Hey, folks, welcome back to the show. AC Mike here, your host for tonight's show and every show. Got a special guest tonight, friend of mine, met many, many moons ago. Uh, you couldn't tell by how young she looks, but she's a professional <laughs> songstress, actor, and so many other things. Taylor Tote, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here again. Yeah, I, listen, Taylor is a frequent uh, guest, whether it's on our uh, WOND radio show or here mm -hmm. at Stockton University in collaboration uh, we're doing with uh, the AC Mike. Listen, Taylor, let the folks know uh, who you are, you know, and, uh, you know, how you got started into this passion of uh, uh, singing and acting and that whole thing in entertainment, please. Yeah, well, so how I got started in it is, Definitely a loaded question. Definitely has a bit of history there. I am a singer songwriter. I grew up in Tinton Falls, New Jersey. I now am living in Manhattan. Um, I really started, I, I never, people always ask me this and I, and I don't really have like a vivid memory of like when I started doing it. I was just always doing it as a kid. I was an only child for quite some time. Um, so I was like bored singing songs. Uh, putting on shows for my parents, putting on shows for my family and their friends and um, kind of doing stuff with my friends, putting on performances at recess during school. So like, that's something that I just always did, something I've always wanted to do. Nothing really like inspired me to do it. I just like always wanted to be in front of people. I grew up, um, I was a cheerleader. I was a gymnast, like you said, an actress. Um, so I was just always in the spotlight somehow. Um, and I just, I just thrive in it. Um, I got a little bit older and of course got into high school. I started taking vocal lessons. I did all the plays, all the musicals. Um, and then I joined a rock cover band when I was 17. And that kind of got me really into the Asbury Park music scene. And then after that, I started my own band, my original Taylor Tote band. And we did things around the, the country. We went to NAM in Nashville, NAM in California. We performed at Penn State Thon. Uh, we did a bunch of different things, uh, conventions out in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, things out in Philly, things out in uh, Delaware, which was really awesome. We had a really great run there for a while. And then I toured 2019 uh, summer with Remember Jones. I did background vocals, choreography, and a lot of lead stuff with them. Uh, we did a whole nationwide tour throughout the summer of 2019 and also a winter tour in 2020. Um, which kind of ended in good timing before the pandemic really got serious and hit. Um, so yeah, so now I'm kind of doing my own music. Uh, again, I'm entering more into the pop R&B world. I'm really excited about it and uh, for what's to come with that. And that's awesome when you talk about the Asbury Park scene. Uh, they're invading here in Atlantic City. And I mean that in a good way. Just that the more music, uh, the better we are here. Uh, they're doing a great job out there. Beret's one of the sites of uh, Pat Frisano doing it uh, up at the Beret AC. Music all the time with North Step Productions. Listen, we got to meet a few years ago back at Garden State Film Festival. And it's yeah. always one of the things I always love bringing up with you. Mm -hmm. And just say it was an amazing piece. And uh, just touch on that just a little bit because I still believe that that's something that people need to see as we speak today. Yes, absolutely. Um, I love that you bring this up too, because um, it's something that's like really close to my heart. So I'm at AC Mike at the Garden State Film Festival because I wrote a song uh, for pediatric cancer, uh, raising awareness, raising funds um, in collaboration with Infinite Love for Kids Fighting Cancer. Um, we, I wrote the song with uh, the founder's daughters, Natalie and Hannah Gore-Segner. Natalie is a childhood cancer survivor um, and her sister, Hannah, shaved her head every year in honor of kids who fight that. Um, so I really wanted to write a song with them. I wanted to collaborate with them. And um, we came up with Fighter. It was something that was just like for fun. I knew that they were really into music and I was watching them one day and I was like, hey, why don't we write a song? And it kind of just turned into something that... Um, ended up being like a really great thing for awareness. It's been featured in People Magazine. Uh, Joan, okay. uh, Joan London gave it a, a really awesome shout out, Tracy Stewart. Um, so it's it's definitely circulated a lot. It's up on my YouTube channel, uh, Taylor Tote Music, or you can find it um, on Infinite Love for Kids Fighting Cancer's Facebook page. Uh, and it's got a lot of uh, 
kind of harsh truths and shines a really big light on pediatric cancer. And all the funds that are raised from that song um, and from the video definitely go straight towards the, the cause. So you are directly supporting. Definitely awesome, folks. Make sure you check out Fighter by Taylor. So Taylor, so, you know, we don't have a whole lot of time, but talk to us about some of the uh, upcoming events you have and where, and uh, you can give the dates also. Uh, and we're also going to post them up here during this interview as uh, it gets uh, put together. Yeah, sure. So as of right now, I know that I am doing a really big show with Remember Jones. We are honoring the late meatloaf. We are nice. doing the whole entire Bad Out of Hell album. That'll be happening in Deal, New Jersey at the Axelrod Performing Arts Center on April 29th, 30th, and May 1st. Um, so that's going to be really awesome. Really, really excited to be a part of that. And then any of my other dates, uh, if you happen to be in Manhattan or um, the uh, Monmouth County area, all of my dates are posted up on my website, taylortote.com, and as well as my social media at Tato and my Facebook, Taylor Tote Music. So you could definitely find all my other dates there as well. Love it. And we'll definitely post that up as we do this interview. Listen, tell us a little bit about the, got a t-shirt coming out, vitamin T. What's all that about? Yeah. So they launched officially. So you can go on my website and you can buy them. Um, I really wanted to do something cool and different. Um, my song multivitamin came out on my birthday, which was June 18th. And, uh, I really just like, it's like a self-love, like fun pop song, just about like, doing the things you got to do to make yourself feel good and to honor yourself. We don't always need other people to validate us. You know, you can, you can definitely still do things for yourself and validate yourself. And, uh, and I kind of use multivitamin as like a metaphorical term, but really like if taking care of yourself is taking real multivitamin, of course, you know, it's, uh, so it can be taken um, as a metaphor, definitely literally. Uh, and I feel like I had some really awesome uh, comments come through as I was releasing multivitamin and people were like, vitamin T, I need my dose of vitamin T. And I was like, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I had to use that. Um, so I really wanted a fun t-shirt, my vitamin t-shirts, you know, uh, to come out and something that was bright, vibrant, fun. Um, I was thinking about doing like a limited edition thing, but if they end up selling really well and people really want them, then I'll totally get some more made and, and we'll just keep selling them. So if anyone wants to buy them, they are up on my website, tellertoad.com. They there look awesome. Go. Make sure you check it out. Hey, so look, we got about a minute. It's going to be the last word to you. Tell us a little bit about your video shoot and whatever else you want to tell the, uh, viewers as uh, we go on out. Yes. So I do have a single coming out very soon. It is something that is, it's been a long time coming. I initially wanted to release it in September. This is a song I wrote last June. I believe it was like June 1st. My producer, Russell Hayden, and I wrote it, recorded it in a day. We were so excited about it. Um, and we wanted to release it right away, but we had all this other music and other singles that we were working on at the time. So we couldn't, we couldn't release it. And then September came around so quickly. And I was like, I really want to honor this. I want, um, I want to be excited about it and I want to promote it the right way. And I want other people to get excited about it. And I don't want it to get lost in the mix. So, um, it's a song that I feel very strongly about. I think it's really catchy. I think it's like one of my favorite things I've done so far. And we are hopefully shooting a music video, uh, in the middle, uh, not the middle, the, uh, early April we're aiming for early April right now for shooting. So definitely keep your eye out for that. I'm aiming for, beginning a summer release and it's going to be it's going to be really awesome so we'll definitely be checking that out taylor you'll stay in touch with us we'll uh, have you back sometime in the summer or early fall listen folks yes. uh, make sure you check out taylor thank you so much for joining us folks stay right where you're at we'll be right back